Morning, Diabeto. Time sure flies, huh? The show's almost over and you'll be able to go back to your regular life soon. No idea if that's going to have any less headaches, though. Who knows? As strange as it sounds, I've had some fun here. The whole getting murdered thing isn't great, but it hasn't been all bad. I didn't mention that other people would kill to be in your position. On second thought, they definitely haven't thought it through enough. Probably not. Well, back to business. It's time to pick who you'll go on your first third date with. Who is the unlucky soulmate candidate today? Honestly, I'm happy just bouncing in between Terra and Yui, so I might go back to Terra for today. Terra. If I'd known you were going to spend all your dates with Terra indoors, I would have just booked the mansion. But sometimes the best things in life aren't the most expensive ones. Who knew? Just kidding. You ever seen a depressed person who owns an island? No, actually. I don't, I don't think I have. Go get it, tiger. <laughs> Thank you, cat. I found Tara sleeping on the sofa in the games room. She looked so peaceful. Maybe I'll come back later. Zombies everywhere. Ah! She bolted up suddenly. You okay? What, you okay, Tara? Phew, it was just a dream. I'm good now, no worries. Seems like it was a pretty crazy dream. No kidding, I dreamt that we all got turned into zombies. Luckily, there's no way that could ever happen. Did you go to bed late? Hell yeah, I spent all night working on the game. And I finished it too. Can I join me in testing it out? I uh, added some new features I'd like you to try. Sure, I'd love to. It looked like the same game I'd played before. What am I looking for? You'll see. Uh-oh. <laughs> but he can't buy happiness, but it murders depression, and that's objectively better. <laughs> you know what words to live by. Money can't buy happiness, but it certainly doesn't give you sadness. Wait, money can't buy happiness, but can't buy... Doesn't buy sad... Yes, what you said. I started up the game. Moments later, I saw Terra's avatar running up to me. You made it just in time. The new event is about to start. What's the new event? As if on cue, giant robotic pigeons flew from the sky and started to attack our avatars. Ah! Don't fight the pigeons. Run for my life. I ran for dear life. Don't worry, I got you. Terra pulled out a giant can of pigeon repellent and started blasting away. Whoa, I think something's bugged. It's not working at all. Guess I gotta fix that. Hee <laughs> hee. While Terra was laughing at her own mistake, I was being lifted into the sky by the pigeons. Uh, I think I'm screwed. Where are these pigeons taking me? I tried to move my avatar, but there's no way to resist the death grip of the robo pigeon. Don't worry, they're about to fly into the territory of the maple syrup dragon. The what? <laughs> the fucking what? Uh oh. The screen lit up with a blast of flying maple syrup. I never thought I'd ever say something like that, but here we are. The maple syrup slammed into the pigeons and forcefully stuck their wings together. As a consequence, they started to fall to the ground at breakneck speed. Ah! Save me, I hadn't saved yet! Ah, I know I forgot something, I forgot to add the ability to save. I'll have to write that down. As Terra took notes, I rapidly fell to my doom. I'm happy for you, but if you could just for a minute... My avatar smacked into the ground pigeon first and instantly died on impact. Oh man, I had so much stuff. Is there at least a respawn mechanic? I've never died before in this game. Of course! Just hit the retry button. I press the button and watch the world around me reset to the village. Sans the giant beasts of death. Sans? From Undertale? <laughs> Except now the village seemed ten times bigger than before. Wait, when did the village get so big? And then it dawned on me. Wait, it's not the village that got big. I got small! I took a more careful look at my avatar. I was a pigeon again. And I sighed deeply. At the same time, Tara was giggling like a child. We spent a few more hours testing out the rest of the game's new features. Thankfully, there were no more pigeon easter eggs. There's uh, one last thing I want to test out, if that's okay. Will it end with me getting turned into a pigeon? No. Unless you're into that. Just come with me. I followed her avatar to the cabin we shared in the woods. When we got there, she turned around, walked up to me, and held out an item I'd never seen before. She walked up to me and gave me an item called Ring of You're Pretty Cool. Oh my god, I love her. <laughs> What's this? 
Um, let me try to explain. I came onto the show, no idea of what it was about. Personally, I thought it was stupid at first. But hanging out with you has been so much fun. I never really got to work on my hobbies with anybody till I met you. Honestly, I've never had someone to share my crazy shit with. But you, you're different. So I guess what I'm trying to say is... You're pretty cool, and I hope we can keep doing this even after the show is over. Crazy bitch is a bird bonker, yeah, but hey. You know what? Nobody's perfect. I'd love to. I'd love to, Tara. You don't even have to ask. Gotta say, you caught me off guard with this. Why is that? You giving this ring to me? It, uh, well, it could be a little misleading. You're not making any sense. We laughed together, then walked back to the mansion with a spring in our step. We played the day away without a care in the world. Well, that's enough gaming for today. You up for a movie date? Sure, what do you want to watch? It's a Hitchcock film. I've always wanted to see it. What's it called? The Birds. That's a real Hitchcock film, isn't it? I'm pretty sure. The Birds. Is it actually... Yep, Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds. It's a real movie. Apparently it's really good. <laughs> yeah, Netflix and chill. Time for Netflix and chill to an Alfred Hitchcock hor Hitchcock and chill. <laughs> yes, we're going to Hitchcock and chill to a horror movie. I found a blood vessel in my head pop. This woman is bad for my heart, but she never fails to put a smile on my face. After today's date with Tara, I decided to take a stroll around the mansion. I'm actually in love with this game already. The night was clear as could be. A light breeze made it just a bit chilly, but not enough that I'd need to put on more. I found myself fixating, fixating on the moon without thinking. I thought I'd find you here. Why's that? Just a gut feeling and the island-wide surveillance system. If you weren't going to say it, I was. You doing okay? Yeah, I'm just thinking. I can't believe the show's almost over. It didn't feel real earlier today. Time sure flies, doesn't it? You've only got the last third date with Yui tomorrow, then the final ceremony on the day after. Speaking of which, how was your date with Tara today? Awesome! Like, I played video games and got married, and then we watched a movie. It was nice, we didn't do anything too crazy, but it didn't have to be. I could tell, it was cute watching you guys. Though to be honest, I wish your relationship would move along a little faster. The show's not getting any longer, you know. Oh come on, we literally got married. If we got married any faster, it would be Tonikawa. That said, I feel like you two would make a pretty good team in the long run. Who knew that three dates were all you needed to figure out if a marriage would last? <laughs> if this TV gig doesn't work out, maybe I should become a marriage counsellor. Huh. Anyway, love to stay and chat, but I've got to get some work done tonight to prep for the ending of the show. You know what? I could use some company, and it's not like you were up to anything. Cat reached her hand out to me. I put my hand in hers on instinct. On instinct. With her hand in mine, she pulled me with her to... The library? Now you're probably wondering, why did I bring you here all place of all places? You like to read? Well, yes, but actually no. There's no internet for us goons, so here's where we store most of our information. Records of every single run of the show, building and security details, guard schedules, and most importantly, salary records. It's hidden in plain sight as regular books that nobody else would read. You need to know how to decipher them, though. They're pretty useless to the average person. Interesting, and also a little unnecessary. Who here is going to read a book? Oh, I knew the state of education was bad, but not this bad. Still doesn't answer why you brought me here. Wait, okay. I want to read that again, right? Cat reached her hand out to me, and I put my hand in hers on instinct. Is Cat the girl that we were trying to run away with before? Game theory. Still don't answer why you brought me here. Well, you see, I have this lovely chair and table here that I do so love to work on. And it's truly, truly exhausting for me to get up from this lovely arrangement to have, a fetch have to fetch each book I need to reference. Oh no, I've been turned into a slave. So... You want me to grab your books for you so you can just stay here? I'm so glad you understand. And you know, I'm doing everything I can to keep you alive, and it's just a teeny tiny favour. I couldn't help but laugh at her mock pout. Sure, Kate. Kate? That's not right. Sure, cat. It's the least I can do. Great. All right. To start, I need you to grab me the Princess of Avaranda. 100 easy recipes for a Philosopher's Stone and...
Princess of Avaranda. 100 easy recipes for a Philosopher's Stone. The Philosopher's Stone is something for immortality. She's trying to develop immortality or something. She tries to steal you. Terra finds out and I get screwed over. I'm guessing this game has a lot of ways to screw me over and I die. I get the feeling that's like going to be a big theme. Like We get to the final day and it's like, oh, no matter what you did, you're going to die. I regret everything. <laughs> Mood. This must be the 100th batch of books I've had to deliver. It's been hours. Seriously, whoever designed this system should be shot. Tried to read a few of the books I was delivering, but like Kat said, they just seem like regular books. And that's a wrap. Thanks for the help, Diabito. I almost feel like I shouldn't have used the name Diabito in this. I feel like I should have done, like, a stupid name. Like, what if we call ourselves Dickhead? Or Fuckface? <laughs> Thank like, could you imagine? Thanks for the help, dickhead. <laughs> I'll send you a thank you card for when you're off this island or something. At that rate, that was pretty much slave labor. I'd like to think of it as more of unpaid charity work. You've got one last day tomorrow, don't mess it up. I'm curious what the first thing you're going to do when you're out of here. Honestly, I'm not sure. Maybe try to figure out what my life was before, who knows. That's as good a start as any. Well, i got to get back to editing. Night, Diabito. See you, cat. Guess I head back to my room and call it a night. It's pretty hard to convince someone to marry after a couple days. Yeah. Careful what you're writing on Twitch. Who knows when a bot goes haywire on your ass and you're gone for two months. <laughs> Big yuck. Ah. Well, hey, at least now you have two Twitch accounts. <laughs> You've got... You've got one Twitch account that you could just like, just say absolute abhorrent shit and hope you don't get uh, banned again. The alarms were deafening. We planned for every possibility we could, but it wasn't enough. We made it to the ship, but it still wasn't enough. Our one saving grace, the ship wouldn't start. Someone tampered with it and there's no time to fix it. That's it then. I couldn't find the words to say. I love you. I love you too, Di- Oh, I love you too, Diabeta. I wish we could have met anywhere but here. Oh, I said I love you. I don't know why I read that as her. <laughs> Twat ass! <laughs> I wish we could have met anywhere but here. She held me in her arms with the last of her strength. All that's left to do is wait. Goodbye, love. What is the subplot of this game? I woke up on the floor of the games room. Tara was sleeping on the sofa with one hand still on the game console. We'd spent all night playing games and watching movies like it was our own little sleepover. Pigeon zombies everywhere, ah! And then she was up. Let's hope this insane show never gets to the point where Tara's dreams make sense. Oh man, my head's pounding, but I've got no regrets. Did we drink alcohol as well? What the hell? Me neither. We've got to do this again sometime soon, Dobita. You bet. Is it time for you to go on your date with somebody else now? Yeah, that's just how it is. Alright, have fun. Save some time for gaming with me later, okay? Sounds like a plan. Awesome. Oh, and she's not jealous either. Well, look who crawled out of an economy class airplane toilet. And good morning to you too, Damien. Diabino, don't mind my, uh, don't mind him. Damien was just telling me the news. Your ratings are doing really well so far. At this rate, I really think you'll make it out of here. That's great news. I wouldn't celebrate just yet. Just because you've done well till now doesn't mean you won't jump the shark today. Your ratings today need to be oh, your ratings today need to be higher than they've ever been, or you'll get axed. Axed literally, literally if I'm around when your numbers up. I guess we'll find that out together, won't we? Later. Sorry about him. He can be a little mean sometimes. Murder threat is a little mean. Anyway, that was one of his more tamer murder threats. You ready for your last date with Yui? Just this last date, then tomorrow will be the final ceremony. Ready as I'll ever be. Fantastic, then we'll start filming right away. Good luck, Domino, you'll need it. Thanks, Cat. I owe you one. Time for my last date with Yui. Oh, buddy. Do we just turn this Twitch channel into we play shitty dating sims and visual novels? <laughs> because I wouldn't mind. I could see Yui from my room's window walking around the front of the mansion. It looked like she was looking for something. 
I practically jumped down the stairs, then ran outside to see her. Hey there, Diabido. What's the hurry? You look like you're in quite the rush. I just wanted to see you a little earlier. Oh, Honey Pop is banned, isn't it? Fuck. Damn, that would have been perfect. I, I really want to play Honey Pop. And, yeah, okay, so Honey Pop's banned. Leisure Suit Larry is banned. Um, fuck, Nekapara is banned, I think. We'll have to look into that. Monster Gold Quest is banned. Like, all the good ones are bad. I mean, this is pretty good, though. This, Doki Doki's fine. It's amazing that Doki Doki Literature Club is fine when it's so heavy psychologically. But Honey Pop is banned. <laughs> Gosh, that's really sweet of you. Honey Pop is just Candy Crush with hentai pics. Yeah. Still fun, though. I've been meaning to see you, too. Uh, I've just been doing a lot of thinking since you helped me get Bun Bun Bun. Ah, how's the Big B doing? I love calling the Big B. Ah, come to think of it, that's why I came out here. He ran out here in a hurry and I was trying to catch up. Though this has already happened a few times and each time he somehow ends up back in my room. I'm sure he's fine. I wouldn't be worried. I just can't help myself, you know? You're a really sweet person, Yui. I love that about you. You are too, Diabito. Do you have any time today to hang out? There's something I'd like to do with you. Of course I do, for you. Even if it's a little boring? I'm sure it can't be that boring if it's with you, you know? Whatever it is, I'm... Oh, whatever it is, I'm down. Okay, here we go! <laughs> and so we teleported to the beach. And started fishing. Oh, hell yeah! Alright, never mind. She's won my heart over. We're going fishing? This is sick. Ah, now this is the life. I have to admit it, this wasn't what I expected. Beach episode... This is by far the best way to pass the time out in the countryside. To be honest, I'm not much for crazy activities like skydiving or shopping trips. I'd rather just spend my days quietly with the person I love talking from dusk till dawn. Just enjoying each other's company, you know? That's the best. Fishing by the shore at a beach? Yeah, we probably won't catch a lot, will we? Now that you say that, I don't think we're going to catch a lot, are we? Huh. <laughs> well, it's the thought that counts, right? She is so vanilla. Fish better brought some damn piss water. Yeah, I mean, can I think fishing is one of those things that you can't do without a bit of alcohol, right? Like, non-competitive bowling, I understand, is the same as fishing, where it's like you have to have alcohol to make it fun. I enjoy bowling because I play it competitively, but if I'm not trying, then yeah, alcohol is involved. <laughs> of course it is, Yui. Getting the chance to learn more about you, to try the things you like, that's where the real fun is. I'd also much prefer that you... that to do... I'd also much prefer that to doing crazy things all the time, too. Though I do think shopping trips aren't really in the same category as skydiving. They are when you live deep in the country. Hey, you up for a little contest? Sure, let's do it. What is it? Want to see who can catch more fish? That, wait, I've heard that sound effect before. No, what game is that sound effect from? This is the thing with Unity games. they You can hear shit from other games very clearly, because it's like an asset library, isn't it? Where have I heard that noise before? Ah, fuck. You're on! Hm. Apparently I had fanned the flames of Yui's competitive spirit. For the next few hours, we kept on at it while we enjoyed each other's conversation and company. Yui was a natural. She was catching fish left and right. Each time she caught one, she let it back into the ocean, and each time I wondered when my first one would bite. I never ended up catching a single one. But that didn't matter. What did was that we were having a ball. This song is from an Avatar hentai game? Bruh. I'm, I'm questioning how you know that. Fishing without alcohol is like toast without butter, hot dogs without mustard, shopping without money, breathing in space, eating yellow snow, etc. Yeah, all those things. <laughs> I agree. I've never been fishing, though. I like fishing in video games, so I feel like I would enjoy fishing, but I agree. I feel like real-life fishing would need alcohol. I mean, fishing, it, like, goes hand-in-hand hand with camping, right? So, a camping trip with fishing and alcohol just sounds amazing. Thanks for indulging me, Diabeto. Hey, I had a lot of fun too, Yui. Don't worry about it. You don't have to lie. I know I'm not like the other girls. 
I grew up with nothing, and it shows in how I spend my time, what I wear, everything. I love you so much, you know. If I had you, I'd give you all the love in my heart every moment of every day. I really would live for love. That's what I've always wanted. Yeah, she's just like mommy material, basically. But she's so vanilla. But I don't want her to murder me and all my friends. But I know I can never give you all the things everyone else could. The money, the acclaim, the excitement. And I find myself worrying. What if you pick me and the second we leave this island, you realize that I can't give you the life you deserve and you start to hate me. I don't know what I'd do if it came to that. No, I'm nom nom vanilla. <laughs> to be fair, but you know what? Sometimes vanilla ain't so bad. You need a little bit of vanilla to make the other flavors more exciting, right? So before it comes to that, I want to ask you. Would just me be enough? My breath was taken away before I had a chance to say what I wanted to. I saw something I'd never seen before and would never see again. The sky rapidly turned from bright blue to black as if it were water being drowned in the darkest ink. Then the bright sun in the sky went out like a candle in the wind. The last thing I saw was Yui screaming as shadowy fingers grabbed her from behind. What? A second later it was pitch black. I couldn't even see my hands reaching out to try and save her. And I felt somebody grab me from behind. No, not somebody. There must have been several people. They forced me to the ground and cuffed me behind my back. What is happening? I screamed but there was no sound. I tried to fight but there was no way out. I screamed for Yui for her to run as fast far as she could but I heard no response. Then nothing. Eh? <laughs> Nanny the fuck? <laughs> um... I woke up on an operating table with the kind you'd see in a nightmare. Blood splattered on the floor and the walls, the smell of disinfectant and rotting flesh. There was a nearby table littered with metal instruments that could make anybody talk. IRL vanilla as open as can be, but shaking the third hand, choking the fish, punishing the Jew, and even some damn spice. <laughs> really? <laughs> choking the fish, punishing the Jew. Punishing the Jew is the weirdest way I've heard that. But I get you. My first instinct was to get up and get off in it as fast as possible, but my neck, hands, and legs were cuffed and pinned down in thick metal braces. Is this what I get for flip-flopping between two options? I tried to force myself out with all my strength, but the braces didn't see so much as budge. Hello? What's going on? Where am I? Yui, you there? All I heard back were echoes of my own screams. Wherever I was, this place must be massive. Hey, Domino. Hey, Cat. Cat was holding some kind of helmet with thick wires extruding from the back of it. Don't worry, Yui's doing fine. She's just taking a little nap. A dirt nap. A forever nap. She's dead. Cat, what's going on? You've got to help me. I was just on my date with Yui when everything went dark and these guys fucking kidnapped us and... I know, Davido, I know. She sighed. You did good, but not good enough. That's pretty much it. Would it make you feel better to hear that you're the best one yet? I don't care. Get me out of here. At this point, there's no point explaining. She placed the helmet on my head carefully, even if I wanted to stop her from doing so. The brace around my neck made it impossible to maneuver. Please, cat, don't do this. I could hear the hum of a massive generator turning on behind me. She raised her head, hand, revealing a trigger switch with a single red button. I just want to get out of here. I want to get back to my life. Whatever it is, please. Not today, Diabeto. She pressed it. The sound of crashing waves, a world without time or color. I'm back. This time, it's as if I'm sitting in an audience, watching myself from afar. The escape had failed. I'd been separated from her and captured. We really never had a chance, did we? I found myself praying that she's safe if anything happened to her. For a moment, the world exploded with colour. Oh! Oh! Okay, this art is cool. I actually really like this. This is, like, really good. Always the hero, aren't you, Diabeta? What did you do to her? You should be more worried about yourself. You knew the rules. If you try to escape the island, you die. It didn't have to be like this, but you... I'm done talking. Goodbye, Diabeta. But that was in my dream. Oh, what? What is happening? Where am I? <laughs> what time is this? Oh, well, you look at that. It looks like a little hero's got some life left in them. You know, Diabeta, you're in luck. Usually I'd just kill you for this, but a new opportunity's just opened up, and I think you'd be the perfect fit. Hey, don't just lie there. Just five more minutes. You're the star of the show. You can't just sleep through it. It's a time loop. No. Watch me. Oh, that's how you want to play. It's on. Ow. Rise and shine, sleepyhead. Ow, did you just hit me? What? Me? Never. Never in a million years. 
Anyway, what was your name again? Oh, my name's... I can't remember my name. No fucking way. Oh, that's so cool. The whole thing is just like a massive loop. So we're trapped here forever? Alright. I'm dead serious, I can't remember a thing. Who knows, it might be for the better. Luckily we've got your name on file, though, Bido. Oh, I didn't have to input my name this time. My name's Kat, nice to meet you. You're the star of our show, find love or die trying. Let me get you up to speed. <laughs> How on earth did I get into this mess? So I was stuck on an island in the middle of nowhere and in, on an insane dating show from hell. From what Kat said, I'm dead meat if I can't finish this show with a fiancé or if the ratings aren't high enough. None of the girls on the show know the truth and if they found out, they'd kill all of us. Why couldn't I wake up with no memories in a regular hospital like a regular drama protagonist? At least the girls seem nice. Hallie's quite something. Something tells me she'll be hard to keep up with and that's not just from losing a race to her in the field. Scarlet's interesting, I've still got no idea if she was trying to read the magazine or the book hiding in it. I'll figure that out later. Tara marches to the beat of her own drum. I like that. Violet's cool but intimidating as hell. I'm pretty sure she was about to cook one of the brothers for dinner. Then there's Yui, she seems like a really sweet girl. Something about her is so familiar. She said she knew me from before. I'll have to ask her about what I was like before as soon as I can. But for now, the show must go on. And that's why Diabeto is the perfect soulmate for each of you. Is it actually just going to like put us all the way back at day one? I'm sorry, you just drew a bunch of numbers and symbols that don't mean anything. It's like the bullshit math they show on screen in a movie. Ah, you're late to the party, Diabito. Now that we're all together, it's time to explain the rules of this show. Diabito, one of the five lovely women here is your soulmate. You'll get to know three of the girls over the next nine days over three dates with each of them. <laughs> oh, we're expanding the format, are we? Is that how this is? Okay. Then on the 10th day, you'll have to ask one of them to marry you. So I've got 10 days to save my life. So without further ado, who do you want to spend time with? Wait, I have to choose already? I haven't even had a chance to really talk with any of them yet. Don't think of it that way. Think of it as who do you want to talk to the most right now? Uh, all right. Well, I guess I'd like to spend today's alone time with. Hold on just a second. I forgot to tell you something pretty important. She pulled me aside. It should be far enough. Do the girls think you'll be asking any of the five of them for a date? But really, I only want you to be asking three of them. Basically, everybody but Terra and Yui. Huh. Huh. Why is that? Let's just say we think we'll be getting higher ratings that way. And you know how important it is to get high ratings, right? I don't really have a choice, do I? Nope. Glad we're on the same page, Diabeta. Without further ado... Okay, so those dreams are starting to make sense now. So we were spending a lot of time with Kat or Yui, I'm assuming. So we are spending a lot of time with them during the course of like our first run of the show, and then we tried to escape. And then they had to wipe our memories and restart everything. And that's why they were like, who knows how long we've been here? Because they don't know how many times it's looped already. Ooh. Good plot. Well, well done. I thought this would be very simple and stupid and cheesy, but this is actually, like, got a very intriguing plotline behind it. Hmm. 